Hi, this is Bonnie with the AWAI Travel Division and the Breakfast Stock Club. Today I'm going to talk to you about three common photo issues and how to identify them in your shots. Over the weekend, a couple of our staff members went out with their cameras in search of photos of textures and patterns. And we found a couple of issues in their photos that I thought I would share with you in case you happen to have the same issues in your own. And this will help you identify that if you do. So first I want to start really quickly with a rundown of the three must-haves of a saleable photo. A saleable photo should have good sharp focus on the right thing in the photo. So you don't want to focus on something that isn't the photo subject. You should also have proper exposure. That means it's not over or underexposed and the lighting isn't flat or dull and it also needs to have strong composition. So of course that means that the three common issues happen to be lack of focus, or the focus is in the wrong place in the photo, over or underexposed photos, dull or harsh lighting, and of course poor composition. That could be placing the subject right in the middle of the photo, cropping the photo too tightly, not getting in close enough, or a number of other issues that we'll talk about later. So let's go through some of these photos and see if we can identify these issues in them. And then over the course of the week, we'll hear from professional photographer Rich Wagner some easy ways to make sure that you're getting good shots from the get-go each time. This first photo succeeds very well in capturing a great natural pattern on the back of this leaf. Unfortunately, it does have one main issue, and that's that we don't have a point of focus anywhere in it. So if you're trying to identify whether or not you have a good point of focus in your photo, the first thing you want to do is think, what's the main subject of this photo? In this case, the main subject is this leaf. But when you look up and down the leaf and back and forth, you see that there's actually no really solid point of focus on the leaf. Everything's a little bit blurry. This could be due to a couple of different things, and you'll hear more tomorrow from Rich about how to correct issues like these in your photos. This is another great texture and pattern shot. It's kind of a new take on the old brick wall photo. Uh, the one issue here, actually I can, I can identify two. The first one is that the lighting is a little bit dull and flat. You can see that um, it kind of looks 2D. It's, uh, the colors aren't very vibrant and um, there's sort of a, a gray, grayish haze over the entire photo. Um, this can partially be fixed in processing, but you do want to make sure that you get it right the first time. There are a couple of different ways you can fix that, and uh, we'll hear about that from Rich. Another thing that I see in this photo is that, it, again, there isn't really a strong, clear focal point. The uh, entire photo is just a little bit fuzzy. And to identify that in your photos, you want to look at it at 100% and see if you can see all the tiny little details and everything as though you were looking at it through a magnifying glass. If it's fuzzy and you can't make out the details, it's probably not in focus. This one, on the other hand, appears to be in very good focus and the lighting is good too. You can see the lighting is coming over from the left side. It kind of gives the photo this great 3D quality. It's like you could reach out and touch it and feel the rough bark with your fingers. The edges are going out of focus a little bit, but that's okay because that's not the main subject of the photo. The main subject is this piece of bark over here that's lighter than all the rest of the bark. This photo is really well composed. The photographer thought about placing this uh, little piece of green over to the left and sort of down. It's, it's on an intersection of a thirds line, which I'm sure you'll hear more about from Rich in coming days. Um, and it's not right smack in the middle of the photo, which makes it a lot stronger. Unfortunately, it's not completely in focus. So again, you want to look at your photos at 100% when you get them on your computer and see if they're in focus or not. There's a couple of issues in this photo. Uh, the first one is that it might be a little bit underexposed. When you have a really bright subject like snow, it tends to uh, send the message to your camera that the entire photo, the entire image is really bright, and so your camera dims down the image a lot. So not only do you get sort of this gray effect in the snow, but the darker parts of the photo are made even darker. The second issue here is that um, well, let's try to identify what the main subject of this photo is. I think the main subject of this photo is probably this first row of grass in front. 
but that first row of grass is not in focus. What's actually in focus is sort of up and to the right of the photo over here where it's not actually the main subject. So again, you want to look at your photos at 100% and when you're taking photos, review them in review mode. Look at the viewfinder and zoom in and see if they're coming out well focused. If they're not, try to adjust something and we'll talk about that in the next couple of issues. And if they are, great. This is an interesting texture and pattern shot. It looks like it's maybe ice on the side of a car door. Um, the lighting here is pretty flat. So you can see that it kind of looks like it has a gray film over it. One way to fix that might be to shoot in the afternoon light or to use a reflector, but we'll talk more about some ways to fix that. This photo has a couple of issues going on with it. The first most apparent one to me is that it's out of focus. So if you look from left to right and top to bottom in the frame, you can't really see a spot that's completely intact, sharp focus. Everything is kind of a little bit soft and blurry. And more importantly, the main subject of the photo, which appears to be this uh, green pepper down here, sort of at the bottom, is the most out of focus part of the photo. So again, it's really important to make sure that that subject of your photo is in focus. Also, that green pepper, which really catches our eye, is sort of placed towards the middle of the photo. I would maybe crop off a little bit of the right side of the photo and a little bit of the bottom to make that pepper kind of go more towards the thirds line, and Rich will talk about that in the next few days. The other issue with this photo is that it's overexposed. You can tell because the peppers in the middle of the photo, right directly smack dab in the middle, are all washed out. The color is wrong. Um, they don't look vibrant orange so much as just kind of pasty, yellowy orange. Um, and you also see this really bright, shiny flash on them. You can tell that this was done with an on-camera flash. And you definitely want to try to avoid using your on-camera flash as much as you can for this reason, because it will likely blow stuff out, make stuff way too bright, and it will also sort of create this flat lighting, which we'll see in this next photo. So here is another one taken with an on-camera flash. You can tell because around the edges of this pepper, you can see this dark, thin, harsh shadow. And that is a definite sign of on-camera flash, and that's something that'll get you rejected at stock agencies and likely in editorial and other media as well. Another thing about this photo is that um, it's a really cool subject, these peppers, and they're really interesting, but I'd maybe try a different angle as well. With the composition as it is, we have these two uh, brown pieces of, it looks like cardboard, up in the upper corners, and it doesn't really add to the composition. So you can always ask yourself, is this adding to the composition? Should I leave it in or should I crop it out? This is another interesting take on that first photo. It's a great idea to go and get a number of different angles. Again, we still have that on-camera flash going off. You can see the harsh shadows here and around here. Um, and But this is a great use of color. We've got the red, the orange, and the green all in there, and the cool shapes coming into play. In our workshops, photographer Shelley Perry often says more or less, and I definitely see that in this photo. What she means by more or less is you want to try to avoid cropping off just a little bit of something. So over here on the left you can see that the uh, cardboard sort of comes to an angle and then goes off into another section, but we've cropped off just the tip of that section so we know that it's there. It's there just enough to kind of distract and it doesn't really add. So you want to either include more of that section or less of it. So again, just to review, the three must-haves in your photos are good, sharp focus, proper exposure, and strong composition, which means that the three issues that we often run into are lack of focus, over or underexposed photos, and poor composition. So upcoming this week, in the next couple days, you'll get a couple of videos from professional photographer Rich Wagner on how to fix these issues in your photos.